Welcome everyone, on my desk here you may be able to see in the corner there is a box and within this box are three very special controllers. As you know I've been working with Scuff Gaming for many many years now, they've helped me out with designing several Ali A controllers that have been released over the years and in this box we have the fourth edition Ali A Scuff Gaming controllers. I actually haven't seen these yet, even myself. I'm going to unbox them and show them to you guys for the very first time within this video. Now, this is the very first time I'm going to be showing you guys this controller. However, there is a small chance that you guys may have seen it already because the time of filming this video, I'm currently in the middle of my book tour for my brand new book. And if you have picked one of these up early, you may have come along to the first book tour date in Cheltenham. Uh, that is actually right at the back of this book. I'm gonna cover it up, but a little bit of a sneak peek of these brand new controllers and how they look. And talking of the book tour, I just wanna say a big thank you to all of you guys that came along. I'll flash up a load of pictures on screen here from all of you guys that came along and tweeted me a picture. Loads of you guys are saying you're loving the book. It was awesome meeting all of you guys. And also thank you so much for all the little gifts and all the fan art you guys drew for me. All of you guys even made me my own custom bottle of Zombies Cola and I can't thank you guys enough. It's so awesome getting gifts. I never expect it, but they're always absolutely amazing. So maybe if you guys have had a look at that back page and you have an early copy of my book, you'll know what you're about to see. However, I think it is time to get these controllers out of their boxes and take a look, my friends, at the brand new Ali A Scuff controllers. So here we go guys, all three versions of my brand new Ali A Scuff controller. We've obviously got the Xbox One version. We also have the PlayStation 4 version and a brand new Scuff exclusive design. This is actually a Scuff Impact controller for PlayStation 4, but actually looks a little bit more and feels a little bit more like an Xbox controller. And they all plug in and play and work on PC as well. And I think they look absolutely amazing. Now, if you have or haven't seen a Scuff before, I'm assuming a lot of you guys have, I'm just going to go over quickly and refresh you guys on everything these brand new scuff controllers can do. But obviously looking ahead to the very, very near future with Call of Duty World War 2, we're going back to boots on the ground. But it doesn't mean these controllers are going to be any less useful. These things are going to be so, so important still. I cannot play without them. I always take it to an event if I'm ever playing Call of Duty or any first person shooter game. They are so, so good. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to check out the website where you can see the pricing. You can customize it completely to your own own liking as well. Scuff had designed a brand new page for these new controllers, so make sure you go and check it out because it is pretty damn cool. So let's have a quick refresh on everything one of these amazing Scuff controllers can do. So first of all, obviously there are four changeable paddles at the back. These can actually be moved in and out, so you can take them on or off depending on how many you want at one time. They're all completely remappable as well, so you can make them be assigned to any button on the controller at your own will. The triggers actually have a hair stop system, which means that they actually stop earlier than they're meant to, which still allows the gun to shoot, but means it takes less time to get off that next shot. Really, really useful for semi-automatic weapons. The back of the controller has the brand new scuff grip, which means you're never going to lose grip of your controller. And even means when you get a little bit sweaty when you try harding in those games, it's not going to be affected either as well. So you're always going to be getting a nice hold on the controller. And you can also completely change whichever thumbsticks you want. Your left and right thumbstick can be removed at any time really, really easily just by using the little tool that comes with the scuff controllers. I actually have a domed one on the left. And the one on the right, I normally have my Ali A control freak on. So let's just take a quick look at all of this in action in game as well. So we're just going to take a direct look at the back of the controller here and um, see the paddles in action. Now I'm just using the standard PlayStation 4 controller. So this one's got two paddles at the back. 
but my left paddle allows me to jump so I can run, jump, and that means I'm not taking my thumb off the aim stick whilst I'm doing it, which is the most important thing. It also means I can run around and then knife because I never normally knife, but on the odd occasion I do, it's nice to be able to do it at the click of a finger. Again, not taking my thumb off the aim stick. However, what it does free up is the ability for me to drop shoot with the right thumb stick. This has been typical of scuff controllers for a while now, but obviously these back two paddles can be completely remapped to whatever you want them to be, whenever you want them to be. So if you're playing a slightly different game, you can always switch them around. Hey, you can even shoot from those back paddles if you want. It's completely up to you guys, but this is how I like to use them. Since the most recent boots on the ground Call of Duty is technically Modern Warfare Remastered, which I was just playing there, I want to obviously break this controller in and have my very first game with the brand new Alley A controller. Controller. I'm very excited for this guys. It looks feels absolutely amazing In fact the printing quality for scuff controllers is at an all-time high the detail is absolutely Insane so if you don't have a scuff or have been thinking about getting one in prep for Call of Duty World War 2 Now is the time to do so my friends. So hopefully you're excited Let's jump into an actual game get some good old controller cam going on and play some Call of Duty. All right guys Let's do this Almost max rank, actually. Jeez, it only took me, uh, what, a year to get there? We have started a free fall game, and we're going to try and smash it. In terms of movement, this is going to match the next Call of Duty pretty similar. So that's why I've decided to choose it. Nice. Oh, people revealing themselves everywhere. Someone is already 5 and oh, Jeez. Oh, yes, we'll take that. Beautiful. All right, there's a guy still here. I've got to be careful, though. Hold on. Oh, yes. Nice, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Helicopter inbound. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Okay, have an airstrike, though. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just not move too much. Place that down over there and try and get... Oh, baby. Jumping all over the place, and that is it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful camo on your AK. you got to say, my friend. Beautiful. Oh, this is going well. This is going well. We haven't moved much, but it's going well. Oh, how? Oh, the red dot. The red dot. That's what I needed in that situation. Hey, buddy. Nice jump shot. All right, let's get that. Oh, come on. Here we go. Helicopter is in. It's now under our control, guys. Go on. Deal some damage. Deal some damage, Heli. Do your thing. Oh, there he is. Jeez, what are you doing sitting in the corner, bro? Actually, jump shots has helped me out. Oh my god, just as I say that. Jeez. Us. That was insane. We're alive though. Our heli's still in the air. Come on, Heli, you can get me one more kill. And someone just killed himself with a claymore. GG. Nice. That's a UAV. Jeez, someone. Oh, that was a bad spawn. Sorry, buddy. I didn't make this game. If I did, I would change that because that was harsh. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Airstrike to our name, ladies and gentlemen. Let's place it over there. Last time I airstrike got someone. Oh, this is good. One away from our other heli. 16 to 3. 24 to 4. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The one game. We're literally 16 and 3. And someone just has to be going 25 and 4. To be fair, Don. Absolutely smashing the sick emblem and cooling card there. But even in that short game, we got to see, especially the jumping, helping me out in so many kill situations where I probably would have died if I wasn't jumping around like a frog around on the map. And that is what you use a scuff game controller for. So there we have it, guys. So proud of my brand new Ali A controllers. You can check out a link down below in the description. I'll also leave my Ali A discount code so you guys can get a reduction on the price. And if you pick one up, let me know by tweeting me. And if you get it, actually drop me a picture as well. These have to be the coolest controllers have ever released yet. And thank you, Scuff, for doing such an amazing job. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really, really enjoyed. And not long now until the launch of COD World War II, where obviously I'm going to be rocking this bad boy right here. If you have enjoyed, smash the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time on another video. Bye-bye.